Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosa. This is a uh, random corner of YouTube where I uh, put down some thoughts about different tech aspects. And uh, I want to do one today about working in vertical video using Caden Live. Caden Live is an open source video editor, really popular in the Linux and open source community. It's got its pros and its cons. And uh, vertical video, of course, is becoming increasingly popular with stuff like YouTube Shorts and Instagram. So even if vertical video isn't your favorite thing in the world, um, it's useful to know how to do it using Caden Live. So by default, Caden Live is going to be set up for standard video, by which I mean uh, widescreen video in the HD resolution of 1920 by 1080, so full HD. And I'm going to show you guys using a couple of clips I have lying around on my computer, uh, just a couple of methods you can use for producing vertical video using Caden Live. So the first thing you want to do is uh, set your project resolution and frame size. So go into project, then click on project settings. And as I mentioned, by default, unless you've changed stuff, you're going to get uh, HD 1080p 24 frames per second um, as your project setting. So for vertical video, you don't need to kind of uh, program these yourself, both for square video, which is uh, 1080 by 1080, etc. And uh, for video, which is in the 9 to 16 aspect ratio, which is going to be in HD 1080 by 1920. They're both already there um, as presets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set my project for 1080 by 1920 and I'm going to click on OK now. And you'll be asked to confirm this. So the, the really what you want to do for this workflow is set your uh, project resolution before you add your clips. So now that I've set my project resolution, I'm going to go ahead and just add in a random video of a smart light bulb that I just did on my phone. And uh, my phone, like most phones, is going to produce, you know, with the default camera app uh, video that is in that vertical HD. So I'm going to click on OK, add it. And now all I have to do is really add it into the timeline. And uh, you can see that it's rendered out here normally. So if I go and I want to sort of render this video, then it's going to uh, be a vertical video and everything is great. Now, what happens if my uh, footage isn't like that? So I'm going to just delete this uh, clip here and I'm going to add a classic clip I took using a camcorder at Atlanta airport in the summer. And as you'll see shortly, this is of a uh, Delta aircraft landing. Now, when we look here on the right, we can see that there's kind of a mismatch between the way that the shot is set up and uh, the... Uh, classic phone resolution. So just picturing this as your phone, if I don't do anything and I render this, it's going to look weird with these black bars. I'm just, just going to play a few seconds of it so you can see it. And you can see, let's just say I wanted to take a little bit of uh, footage here, kind of where the plane touches down. I'm just going to cut out about five seconds here. And what you want to do basically is, uh, this is the second tip, is use the transform effect. So I'm going to go in certain effect, transform. And then what I'm going to do is basically cut into the clip until it fills out. Now you can do this two ways. You can use this manually using the size selector, or you can use these arrow overlays. And again, you know, this is going to probably not look very good on the aspect ratio I've chosen, but I'm just going to get the kind of delta uh, logo here. And you can see how this is going to look. And uh, this is just a close up of the plane touching down. This would probably look better in a square in square resolution. Um, in which case, I can go into project project settings, and I'm going to actually go here for 1080 by 1080, which is of course a one to one aspect ratio. I'm going to click on OK. Now, once I've done this, I can just uh, drag this clip in again. But this time, we're looking at a square here, and as you know, just for this particular case. It's probably going to look a little bit better um, at a square one to one resolution or aspect ratio instead of the nine to 16. And you can see I'm just playing around with the arrows and moving the aircraft into the center. And we can just play a few seconds and you'll see how this looks. So that's basically it, the two ways um, to sort of produce vertical video on Caden Live. In summary, uh, you can go into project settings by clicking on project, project settings, and you're going to have uh, basically mobile friendly 
project settings already there, ready to go in 1080 by 1080 and 1080 by 1920. And the second tip that I have is that if you if you're trying to use video horizontal video in a mobile project for a vertical or a square video, then you can use the transform effect, insert an effect transform, and then you can just uh, drag over the canvas area and you'll be able to sort of work with your clips and make them more mobile friendly. I hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching. New videos coming soon.